What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today I'm very excited to bring you guys some of the world's first gameplay of the new EXO Grapple Mode in Advanced Warfare. I played this this weekend at COD Champs, got like probably six or seven games of it in, and, and honestly it was just, it was so much fun. I, I was really having a good time with this, and I just wanted to share it with you guys, because it's pretty awesome. It's one of the craziest things we've ever had in Call of Duty, and it's just, it's a lot of fun, man. So, uh, yeah, the EXO Grapple Mode is a new game mode coming to Advanced Warfare with the Ascendance DLC, and, and basically... Basically, you can play any game mode within this mode. So you can play, you know, Uplink, TDM, Search and Destroy, stuff like that. But it can only be played on the four new DLC maps. This is not going to be available, at least yet. It might in the future, I'm not sure. But right now, it's only available on those four new maps. It's not available on the other, you know, 15 plus or whatever we already have in the game. So uh, that's that. Now, uh, when you're playing this mode, the grapple ability is actually automatically equipped and mapped to your left bumper or L1 on PlayStation, so you don't have to use a creative class point to be able to equip this thing. It's not actually an EXO ability, it's just automatically on your character, which is kind of cool. Now, uh, when you're using it, you get two uses normally. So if you don't have overcharged on, you can shoot a grapple, then shoot a grapple again, and then you're going to be out of your ability, but it does regen, unlike other EXO abilities. Over time, it will regen, which is pretty cool. Uh, or if you put overcharged on, you actually to get three grapples before you have to regen so you can shoot 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 which is really cool and, and kind of you know opens it up quite a bit more now how you use it is it will attach to pretty much just about every surface on the map doesn't matter if it's a wall if it's a chair if it's you know the ceiling if it's the floor anything like that you can shoot at that stuff the grapple is going to attach to it and it's going to start pulling you in that direction now the deal is is it does have a limited range. So you can't like be on one side of the map, shoot a building off on the complete other side of the map and pull yourself all the way across the map. It doesn't work like that. There is a range. It's a pretty generous range. Like it's, it's pretty good. But that's the key to, to being really good with this thing because sometimes I was trying to shoot at stuff that was out of range and I was failing because of it. Like I, I would jump out of a window and try to like grab onto a building that was just barely too far away and it wouldn't attach and tell me it was out of range. i just fall to the ground and people would kill me and stuff like that. So the key to being really, really good with this grapple is figuring out where that range threshold is and knowing what you can and can't shoot at to be able to move around the map. But uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun. Now, uh, to use it, Again, it's like an EXO ability. You press LB or L1 on PlayStation, it's going to launch the grapple and it's going to, you know, kind of lock on to whatever surface you were shooting at. Now, if you continue to hold the button, it's going to start pulling you towards that, you know, object or, you know, whatever you shot it into. Uh, and then you can release the button and that's going to let the grapple go to where you'll just, you know, kind of like stop pulling yourself forward. But it is momentum based. So even if you let go, you're still going to kind of continue flying in that direction for a bit. You're going to like, you know, slowly kind of fall down to the ground, which is cool. It's really good. Like you can time it right and kind of like fly right through windows really effectively. Or, or you can use it to, you know, link up combos. So you like pull yourself towards a corner and then let go and you're still flying towards that corner and then you turn and lock onto something else around the corner so you kind of like whiplash yourself around the corner like it's really really cool I and mean, it's 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 Honestly, it's going to be a lot like to get used to, and people that are good with this are going to be really, really good with it and be able to move around the map like crazy. So it's kind of cool in that regard that when you let go, you don't just stop there. You continue kind of like moving in that direction because of your forward momentum, which is pretty cool. Now, you can also hold it until you reach the grapple itself. So you can shoot a building, and you can hold it till it pulls you all the way up against the wall that it's locked into, and you can actually stay there for a few seconds. You can't stay there forever, but for like, I don't know, maybe four or five seconds. And this is really, really cool, because you can use it to get out of bad situations. Like, there have been times where I'm on a hard point, and it, where I'm getting rushed by a bunch of enemies, and I'll shoot, like, the ceiling, or, or you know, something up and to the left, where they won't be able to see me, and I'll just hang up there for a second, and I'll wait, and I'll see what they're gonna do, and then I'll drop back down and kind of have the, uh, the advantage on them or you know you can hang above doorways and watch people walk through underneath you and then exo slam down on them and stuff like that so it's kind of cool in that regard you're kind of like sitting there like spider-man but uh, it's it's pretty useful it's pretty effective and then finally the last thing about this grapple is it is an insta kill if you hit an enemy with it it'll instantly kill them no doubt about it you're just you're done they're done but the thing is is it's really risky to go with that because it's very hard to hit them first of all but then second of all if you miss them it's gonna lock on to whatever's behind them and it's going to pull you towards them and you aren't going to be able to shoot them so i wouldn't recommend typically going 
going for kills with this thing, but sometimes you will get kills with it just by accident, and that's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah, there you guys have it. That's the new grapple system in Advanced Warfare. It's super awesome. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to bring you guys more gameplay, and I can't wait for you guys to, uh, to be able to try it out, because I, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Uh, also, make sure you guys check out these videos on screen right here. So, I'm putting up all kinds of videos today from every single map, talking about all the stuff you guys need to know about this DLC. So, you guys definitely don't want to miss that. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.